Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta on first light at Bombay Shivaji Park. And my guest today, who else but its most famous son, Sachin Tendulkar. Such a privilege to have you on Walk the Talk. Thank you so much. Pleasure. And I believe you really love to wake up early, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not a big fan of waking up early. Only, only if I'm training or you know uh, visiting a temple or whatever, then I would do it. Otherwise, uh, uh, yeah, not really. But this is uh, this really is it, it is a cradle of so much talent, isn't it, Shivaji Park? Yes, I mean, uh, if you if you see, I mean, uh, the, the lot, lot of uh, ex cricketers uh, stay around this. Right. This park and uh, uh, this is this is the heart of Mumbai cricket, and uh, you know I grew up right here myself. Vinod Kamli, Praveen Amre, Lalchan Rajput, all all the uh, you know India players played right here and uh, doesn't doesn't <laughs> doesn't look quite like the kind of pitches you. <laughs> Yeah, I would, I would, I would think twice after, <laughs> after having played on better tracks. I mean, this, this, this looks a little dicey. But you know, at that age, you just want to go out and hit yeah. the ball as hard as possible and spend as many hours as possible on the ground. So, but Sachin, you and uh, Vinod were also quite a pair. You know, uh, you were very similar in some ways, but you were also very different in many ways. One left-handed, one right-handed, and a little factoid: uh, the right-hander could throw left with the left hand. In fact, the right-hander writes with the left hand, and the left-hander wrote with the right hand. Yes, I mean, uh, we we were uh, totally you were, different personalities. You were also ambidextrous. You could use both hands. Yes, I mean, uh, and so is Vinod. Yeah. Uh, but we we were totally different in nature to each other because uh, Vinod uh, was, uh, you know, an outgoing person, enjoyed going out right. here and there. Very and flamboyant. Was, I was happy being in my room, uh, you know, put on some music and enjoy music or watch television. So it was wonderful. I mean, Vinod would always uh, be up to mischiefs, and I, I, I used to be a, uh, you know, a lo loyal spectator, all the time giving positive responses. And <laughs> it was, it was wonderful. I mean, uh, you know, I used to joke around, and you know, Vinod the. Vinod is is uh, an extremely funny character. I mean, and he's he's got a big heart. Sometimes. What's been the toughest series for you so far? I think that uh, 1992 tour uh, in, in in South Africa was uh, very tough. It was it was a wake up call to us. We we didn't expect the South Africans to come at us so strong, and. Uh, we had had uh, uh, a disastrous Australian tour right. before that. I mean, obviously the the the, the standard of playing was uh, extremely high in Australia, and uh, we played on some lively tracks. But in South Africa, we played a couple of side games and uh, practice matches, and uh, you know we did really well. Right. And uh, one one practice game where it was an eye opener was uh, against the the President's Eleven. Right. Uh, South Africa, where you know we bowled first and we got them out for 220, and you know we wanted to finish off the game. We said, okay, fine, let's go out and score big runs and you know beat them again. And when they bowled a couple of hours, we realized, okay, this is completely different cricket we are talking about. And uh, from there on, it started, and uh, you know the, the tour was extremely tough, and uh, you know the the standard of playing was extremely high. And the fielding. Fielding, John T. Rhodes was all over the ground. I mean, he, yes. he used to. And, and you had the you had the distinction <laughs> that you don't want to remember of being the, the first, first to be the, given the out first, by third uh, umpire. Yes, I mean, out. John T. was. Believe me, I mean, I've I've not seen anything like that in my entire career. I think he was something special. I mean, uh, there are you see good fielders, then you see very good fielders and brilliant fielders, and then you see John T. Hmm. So he was right up there and. Uh, I don't think anyone has come you know close to Jonty